Pranchu, thanks so much for making the time for a random conversation, to be very honest, because we didn't really set an agenda for a very specific reason that there's like so much to talk about, especially about you, what you have been up to the journey and the different paths that you've taken over the past a decade, at least that it's really worth talking. And I reached out to you recently just because I noticed that you're back with your guitar playing music. And I believe you are in the middle of some challenge. We'll talk more about that. And it brought uh, back those memories because the longest I can remember, in fact, the first time we met, you had a guitar in your hand and all of a sudden those 10, 12 years back, all of a sudden I realized that, damn, this is exactly how I got to know Pranshu with his uh, love for music and how it resonated with me as a music fan. I've, I've never been a player. I don't think I have that time or even the inclination to learn right now. But again, that's that. You never know. So I thought maybe it's a good idea for us to just catch up in a podcast platform and talk about how your journey has evolved and how you have evolved as a person with music and what you intend to do with music in general. It doesn't have to be music. Obviously, we've uh, spoke, uh, talked about it because um, a lot has happened over the course of so many years, especially the career aspect. So if you would like to talk about that as well, feel free to do that. So yeah, let's start with who you are, what you do. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's go from there. Cool. So firstly, thanks a lot, guys, whoever are listening to this podcast. Uh, my name is Pranshu and to describe me, I know I would say there are two words. One is creativity and the second is crazy. You know, I am not a person who is like a very disciplined or a, or a sincere guy. I'm like going with the a notion that, okay, if this is something can be done in an untraditional way and bring value, why not let explore it? I have learned almost everything in my life by burning my hands. So it's like today also, if I don't do mistakes, I don't learn. So I would really request everyone, if you want to learn something, make mistakes. Mistakes is the most precious things in your life that you gain as an experience. So coming about me, so creativity and crazy is something that two aspects of my life. When I begin talking about creativity, so I'm really fortunate from past 10 years that I am able to create content in all categories. Like I can shoot, uh, you know, videos, I can edit photographs. I know almost every tool of Adobe Premiere Pro. I ran a production house, which really gives me an idea to really understand more about content. Like now I can design, I can write a little, I can do all the features related to audio production and stuff. And when I, when it all started in, in 2009, that was the first time that I really fell in love with music. Uh, that was through a movie called Rock On. I think that movie has really inspired a lot of people to really join and inspire music. I have one of them. So I started uh, with that notion, but there was something in my head when I started music was the objective. If I'm learning something, why I'm learning it and what I really want to achieve from it. So for me, it was very clear uh, that I just want to learn guitar in a way that if I want to play any song, I can go online, I can see its chords and I can play it. I don't want to be a rock star like a Coldplay or a big slash or something because I didn't have that kind of an inclination as a technical artist. I've always seen music as fun, as a way to express yourself, not just bound by those rules, following th those notes at that particular time and reiterating the same music. It's, it has to be you. So whenever I try to play, I unfortunately not able to play the song exactly the way it is because I've, I've molded myself. I'll only play what I feel like and change the vocal notes. I'll change the chords. I'll change the structure. I may change the shape or the rhythm of the song, but it has to be me. It has to be you who is singing and who is trying to, you know, portray that notion in music. So that's how I started. So with that objective, when it was clear that I can play, I want to play any song that I can see online. I need to have a very strong basics. So to do that strong basics, I am not, as I told you, not a sincere guy. So I start teaching music parallelly because I always believe that if you really want to excel in something, you teach to people. Because if you can explain them, you have understood well, like as Albert Einstein rightly said. So that's where I started in 2010 itself. And since today I still teach, I get privileges, people ping me on WhatsApp. Can you teach me? Can you guide me? Like a basic idea about music or its framework. So it's pretty cool. 
so if you really want to learn something in excel as an artist i think the first thing that you have to do is you should teach people you should be not driven to a, a position okay this is for you this should be for everyone knowledge is free everything is there online you just type guitar chords you'll find 10 different online teachers who are remarkably well as who has spent more than 3 decades or 4 decades of just explaining music but for you if you are emerging as an artist you should always be open to share your knowledge uh, with the world so that's how i started and there was a lot of drifts in my life when i was doing music if i started in like 2011 and 12 when i graduated so for me at that point was just to teach guitar to students have some time a leisure time for myself for music but in 2014 something amazing happened i got clicked with an idea that that i want to make people compose their own song within 2 hours now imagine sunil people like you who say we don't know anything about music we people 30 people like you in a hall and i just give you music instruments i i teach you on the spot how to write a song how to get that melody done and you guys do it and perform on stage so we were able to do around more than 30 workshops like this in corporates with my friends there was a lot of hit and trial to get that particular achievement as a great success and the most amazing thing that now i feel right now not at that time is that you can really inspire people to learn music and it's it's very easy you don't teach with the traditional method of sare ga ma pa da ni sa teach them in their own language give them some vision some objective to achieve if 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 you say so really want to learn guitar the first thing that i would say is write down top 10 songs that you want to play on it like forget about buying forget about lessons you know, what exactly you want to do some kids used to come to me and say ki we just want to hang out with girls we want to have a better reputation in college and things like that trust me guys it does not work if you are a hard soul <laughs> if you are a guy with good emotions you will not be able to play with people's heart it's just a cliche in the market it's just about you expressing yourself and after going with a lot of struggles from 10 years last year one of my friend abhishek that i accidentally met in a cafe he is an entrepreneur he really motivated me to express myself as a musician and i think he really pumped me so hard from past 8 months that now i spend like about 2 hours or an hour every day playing i want to play every day at a public place i bought all my gears now i've created a performance for about 2 3 hours for people so that they can get entertained so i think that's something kind of a journey that i have for music including workshops including as a performer but i never thought that i'll play for people i always thought to play for myself so hanging out with friends you playing few songs just to create that kind of an environment and i was able to do that for 5 years back but now it's more about uh, every day when i play and i and i put my status online it's not just that i want to share with the world that what i can do i want to tell people if i can do it you can also do it it just 30 seconds of work on whatsapp for me it hardly takes 10 minutes to record that if i know what i'm playing i know it's been a long time but for you can do it in an hour you just need to get that 30 second good clip be consistent and if you're being consistent over there what happens is that people appreciate you in a way that they also want to do it maybe they are not doing music they do art they do technology they do uh, exercise reading whatever they love to do so i think doing those small steps being that persistent and bringing value and very open to teach and learn like to share you an idea like whenever i play in a public forum i always invite people on stage i don't want to be that kind of an artist who is like a rude guy who is just going singing and going i want you to come and sing along with me be be better than me what i am because for me i just want to create platforms i just want to be create an opportunity for the youth so that they can really express themselves through music they're not thinking too out loud and when you see the youth in our today's country specifically talking about the musical technical terms what they do is they just play four chords and out of those four chords they sing they sing all the songs it's a trick in music but if you really want to do justice with that song you have to play that exact note with that exact sound which brings value so that is something that i really want to educate to the kids that okay just playing four chords doing that rhythm singing that adad gulabi aage and those popular songs will not solve you have to be your as an individual musician and express yourself good bad or ugly it's different but if you do it persistently there will be a value out in the market i'll take a pause i think it was an unstructured thought <laughs> no pretty cool so what i heard was 
to start with uh, specific concrete goals that go beyond impressing other people and focus more on uh, the things that you actually enjoy. For example, it's far better to come up with a list of five to 10 songs that I would like to play and then start to work towards the, learning those songs or trying to play those songs instead of the traditional thing of the ABCs of uh, music. So that's an approach. The other approach that you didn't explicitly say what, what I'm hearing is this aspect of deliberate practice yeah, in one is, form yeah. or the other. You mentioned something about performing in the public. Okay. It's, it's probably part of the challenge that uh, you're in the middle of right now. But tell me more about that. What is it about and uh, what really inspired you to do that? This specific thing. That's a good story. So it all started in 2019 when I was having identity crisis. Okay. <laughs> where <laughs> and how it started was I was an entrepreneur for five years. I did a lot of things. And after that, I left everything and I was in Adobe. Um, Adobe is a great company to work with. They really pamper you bad. <laughs> That's what I felt. And while there was in Adobe, I, I really felt a thought that I am re replaceable the second moment if someone comes for my profile. Mm -hmm. That's how processes are. And when I was as an entrepreneur, I was not replaceable. If I replace the company he dies in that way, I had a lot of identity crisis. I had a lot of dreams, a lot of failures. So one day I was just sitting in Adobe. I was really in a very bad shape. I was lying on the floor and uh, on the board, I just wrote a word called inspire. And then I, I wrote about students because apart from music, I'm really, very close to Indian education sector to add on. I'm very fortunate that I spoke to more than 20,000 students. I used to do career counseling. I did more than 2000 individual career counseling, been to about more than 900 plus colleges and school physically to talk to students, to understand more about that. So I just wrote these two things. And when I wrote these two things, I, I, I thought there has to be some kind of a notion or some kind of a bang. So are you saying something? No, 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 I'm not. Okay. So I'm, I'm leaning kind of in. Bang, yeah. Okay. Some kind of a bang where, you know, I can push to my limits. I can really cross and give me a challenge for myself as a crazy, that it's unachievable. So that where an idea came, which is inspire the nation. So what's inspired the nation is from past two and a half years, I am planning a route plan across the nation for hundred days. So that I had seventh Excel iteration where I've mentioned the date, place and the time where I will go and I'll go and I am preparing on a music album, which is my own songs where we, as a part of my startup, we created for a couple of clients, a couple of my composition. So there are seven, eight songs. I just want to go with my car, stop wherever I want, play those songs and tell the kids, okay, boss, if I can do it, you can do it much better than me. And, and the reason is the age, the talent, the creativity and the gift that you have. My gift and my talent is to express myself. I am not a guy. If you put a music sheet, I can't play. So I am not that kind of a person. I don't follow those count. I just go with the flow. And for me, whenever I play those songs all the time, it's a different sound altogether. I, I played in a couple of cafes, the same song. Uh, I played in Goa. I played in like various places in Faridabad. I played at my room. Whenever I play, the, the sound is different. And the sound depends on the people who are listening to that song. And I really want to do a hundred days travel. We're going to every city. And to do that, I have done a couple of small steps. The first is buying a domain. So <laughs> inspire the nation dot in the website, kind of the structure is ready. The second is the album. And uh, the third is the gears. So for me to have a setup where I can, you know, sing openly and publicly, like mm -hmm. on a highway, for Dava, a, a good gig. So I have now the complete setup in my home. So I don't want, and I'm practicing on that setup to understand more about when you perform, how the audio engineering works and a and, and, and couple of technical details. A way that to do that hundred days is something that I have a goal for myself that I'll, I'll definitely do that hundred days. So to do that, firstly, my, my objective is to cover my annual target of my job where I'm okay. Now I know that I'm not worried for my numbers because I'm a sales guy. Just to add, I work in Zadul as an account executive. And the second is to really do it in a way that it inspire people. You know, if you are singing your own song and not just one, eight to nine songs, and every song is a story. Just to add, there is a song called Bunde Bevaja. 
now the story of the song is like when you are really numb uh, at your home and the biggest cliche i would say the youth believe is they don't believe in themselves and they keep on discouraging themselves and when there is a rain they're sitting alone at home they enjoy it a moment but after that they feel lost so we try to cover that notion to that song one song is unne do which i just published on linkedin in a very raw format where uh, we are trying to inspire people to fly and follow their you know footsteps one song is is very is if a sad number is like achanak kya hua when god gives like earthquake or tsunami when he leaves everything so that's one song one is specifically dedicated to people like me who listen to their heart the name of the song is man marziya then one song is suffer and i also added one romantic number you know tu nahi hai so getting all those songs in a way that covers the entire aspects of a youth journey it's just it's not just an album and for me i don't i never want to record that album in a studio a lot of people ask me these are good songs go to studio they'll polish your voice they'll add those drums yeah. you can have that good production you can have you i don't want that bro i want to play it live i want to establish myself as a live artist i don't want to get into those there is one song to add uh, sound of muzak by porcupine tree the the song says in a way that the technology is killing music yeah and as i ran my production house i know anyone can sing so in a studio you can just say word by word and you can put it that in a rhyme you can add those glitters you can add those hot models a good car a good ableton loop and it's done i i don't want to get fame i want people to learn music and inspire and express themselves because by doing that inspire the nation I, if you allow me i have five points to share if that's okay sure, related sure, to sure. that yeah so wherever i want to go i wrote this five points like at that point in 2019 and i still keep it in my phone to have that as a reminder i'll just tell you what are the five points are when you want something you don't find it yeah so these are the five points that i i want to do is like the first is made in india for the world i believe the way we really had a bad performance in olympics every year we are a country which is fueling the world's economy but we don't fuel our because we feel that whatever the things are but i believe that our country's talent and youth is outstanding and we should do something which is made in india not made in china for the world so i want to have my own kind of way that kids inspire to it second is um, follow your passion that's something that i am being saying from past 10 years that's the tagline of my startup and for that i really want to make them understand that there is a difference between passion and stress mm-hmm. and it's the same thing there is just a thin line to say that if you want to go to heaven you have to die first so you have to put that effort then only comes so that's follow your passion and get into it don't sleep don't eat it does not matter if you don't sleep or eat for a week it will not matter at all but what kind of achievement that you can get out of it is amazing the third is i really want to focus on something where i can really inspire kids to understand that you have to replace marks with experience now what i meant by is like you learn momentum in your physics class in ninth standard m1 m2 is equal to m2 v2 the motion of and all the theory that teacher says I, i don't remember any of that by the way but yeah go ahead <laughs> Say, say well. You get that same uh, kind of feeling in an experience. Okay, you get two balls, record a video, and explain the other kids what is momentum. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, you do it on a social media channel. You establish yourself as a content creator. And when you establish yourself as a knowledgeable content creator, you are bringing a revolution. Mm-hmm. And there are people like Academy is one of the example. If we talk about business, edX dot org is one of that example, which started with the value. and for you if you replace your education with an experience the whole world will change for you you will never fight for that point one marks you will always fight for what is the thing that i can achieve from this knowledge so if we can get that kind of uh, an idea in in someone head i think that will be really amazing specifically the kids the fourth is maybe love is the only answer now it's high time we should not fall for wars we should not run for politics we should not run for the way we are doing just for you know thinking about ourselves we should think about that every individual life is important now the time is that we should start taking care of all the animals in the habitat it's the time to take care of the ecosystem it's the time to take care of the environment because our previous generation 80s 70s and 60s people have really take took the things to a new level if you talk about the pollution population the rules 
you go to the government sector they stay it's always like that so yeah. you have to change you have and i think that change starts with when you think about that war is not something love is the only way to solve like even if you have a war finally what happens is peace there is always an adjustment even if you fight with your wife obviously you will get down because wife is always right but that's the way the world works so it doesn't matter who is good or bad or ugly it's love is the something that can really bring a change so they they need to understand that if they don't have anything love is the only answer for that it can be for any form or anything then the fifth point and last point that i want to cover for them is don't run for success run for excellence and in today's you know adhd world uh, the success is just a momentum an artist like dinchai kuja or there was a guy a kid called bachpan ka pyar who got really popular on online or any kind of a popular song that we listen so it's momentum it's just momentary for that particular moment or for that particular thing or anything else will come else will come and you would never be able to you know run that throughout your life because success is rented you have to pay the rent every day and if you run for that success it does not matter run for excellence success will automatically follow you if you love reading if if you can really bring difference to your knowledge in someone's life that's great but if you're just reading and just to clear that to get a good marks or something it does not matter at all so these are the five things that i personally apart from my all five songs i am creating speeches along these lines and it's very difficult for me to think that how i'll create a moment in a speech in a public environment because people are people we have an attention problem we have ego problem why would we listen to him we have a perspective problem 60% of the people do the things by themselves they learn everything by themselves and then after doing that they criticize that <laughs> it has to be done like that so we have to get all of these things part and i am really working hard myself to really convey these five messages and playing for 100 days across india so the sheet is ready guys so i can show i can mail you the sheet if you want it's been like two and a half years that i am really working on it all my friends my family like i i, I shared this plan uh, with my mother she was very opposed for it she didn't talk to me for few days but after that when she really understood that why i want to do it and by 100 days like she said go for 10 days come back my like, yeah, i have already done that i have to do it for 100 days so that i can cover each and every state and the reason to do that is i can also discover 40 regional music that india has like assam has a different music kerala has a different music rajasthan has a different music jammu kashmir has a different music punjab has a different gharana gharana all together you go to you go to uh, gujarat you have a different folk music you do go to maharashtra you have a different folk music you do go, you go to goa you you find a different kind of fusion all together yeah we are the only country in the world that wherever you travel for any 100 kilometers you find new people you find new food and you find new culture i i am very fortunate that i have been almost every state in north india alone travel for work and got that opportunity to interact and there are places when i find uh, uh, like a story that happened in ludhiana i was there and I, there was an auto guy he was singing outstanding like i never heard a live singer like that to be honest and i'll be very true what i did was i booked his auto for 2 hours and i said we'll only roam in the auto and i want to listen your songs he he sang mukesh he sang rafi he sang like latest songs ghazal bhete and after that whole while i asked bro why did you left music he said i met one of uh, there is one of a very famous singer in punjab so he worked with him he was there in jagran then he told his story that i had a, i have a love story with a different cast and my family forbidden me so i have to come to ludhiana and this is what i did just to sustain that but i and there are millions of him like this i i can really say that they have talent and the kind of pitch and range he has it's very difficult to achieve and in technicalities in music technicalities if i mention that so connecting with those souls is something that i want to do for 100 days and it's it's not making me sleep bro <laughs> so it's there in my head the big, the big the, the big question is when do you think you, you will kick start this campaign the 100 day campaign i want to start i want to start today but the covid a lot of things are there so tentatively i'll start in april because i think that 
makes i can also manage my personal as well as my professional life mm-hmm. because that pays my bill <laughs> i can't ignore that so i'm really working hard in my job to get my numbers as as much as i can so that i can also ask my team to have a very uh, soft quarter because it's 100 days and i don't want to leave my job every day i want to work also to give the message to the youth that if you have a dream you can do parallel things also mm-hmm. you don't have mm-hmm. to leave your job to follow your passion and a lot of people say leave your job for a passion i don't want them to do that boss if you are good at something don't sleep for few months that's okay but don't leave i don't want to leave my job and i want to really excel in my work so that i can tell whenever i am performing the boss i am done with my quarter target it's not happy for you but it's very happy i'll get my comp my manager is happy and i'm bringing value to work plus i'm doing music so if i can portray myself as a musician as a professional account executive and as a mentor to really inspire them on all five these things for 100 days i think we can really bring a good difference in youth of our country hmm. so what i'm hearing is you basically are vying towards something that's like a cross between coke studio and mtv unplugged <laughs> do it in the style that the grateful dead live <laughs> and at the same time sprinkle in some kind of activism and education as well so it, this sounds like a massive plan and uh you also mentioned something about your previous entrepreneurial stint in which uh, you ran your company in which you were going to colleges to inspire the audience you and i did interact during that phase and that seemed to be going great made you pivot because then uh, you basically switched to the hospitality industry something something like that happened what happened as a when you are young and you are doing something for yourself so you try to grasp every opportunity which comes on your door i was really fortunate that i i got opportunities where clients asked me to strategize them pay me a handsome fees for consulting pay me a handsome fees to create their websites pay me a handsome fees to do this da 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 blah blah stuff and then you get money and it's on the table uh, you remember richard branson quote when he says you get an opportunity in grasp it you will learn it after doing it that's how i did it i was really confident enough because i was pure at my heart that i will learn and i'll commit the way it has to be but every time whenever i used to get that opportunity the money flows in my bank there is a very single second of happiness but after that there are hours of thought why i am doing it and that why part is always very clear in my head that i want people to follow their passion that's something you have heard from me from past 10 years it's there everywhere that i say but if i'm creating a website for someone i'm not helping him to follow his passion if i'm creating a video or an ad for him i'm not but if i'm doing a music workshop yes at least i'm educating people for music so at that moment i was making money i had an investor for my startup where i had a team of 13 people everything was going smooth i could have scaled it to like an 100 to 100 uh, team people very easily and developed myself an, as an agency but it's something that never inspire me to do it because money don't excites me like even now someone pays me i'll pay you one cr you create a website sorry boss i don't want to do it if i want to do it i'll do it for myself and to have that kind of clarity and thought is directly driven to your purpose what is my purpose of existence like i don't see myself in a way that i want to have a big house or let's say married have 10 kids or something like that and have a stability or something yeah i, I don't want that bro i i really don't want i if any future if i time if i get married i really want to adopt kids i see there are already kids in the market who needs a parent or a guidance and for me it was more about doing something which help people to do the best of their life and and why it's like that is because of time is the biggest asset that we have and no corporate no business you know value that asset we monetize on that asset like social media monetize on time that you spend but they don't give you money on something that you love to do so that was always the idea that i want to do it but it is not a, an investment feasible idea it's not a business value idea it's not goes with around the corporate uh, terms or the the scalability or that line making world a better place through technology and you know? all so it don't goes with that line and plus music is the most uh, difficult industry in startup like 
you will never find any startup in music apart from gana.com and those streaming apps like you would find social media you will find ai you will find edtech you'll have crms you'll have uh, consulting services photography design agency content everything but for music there is no such company in the world who just does music who only creates audios who are because all the people who are creating audios work in freelancer or work in those agencies and the agency supports 10 different kinds of services where music is one of them mm-hmm. the biggest company in india is t series in music what the value they do is like they, they just promote bollywood ta- stars they have a monopoly in the market yeah there is tell me one company that is there in music even if if you talk about instruments there is a company called cadence which started in bangalore in 2014 they are an indian brand but i really feel bad when i got to know that everything what they sell is coming from china we don't even have a good instrument manufacturer in our country now imagine the kind of talent that we have we can create guitars from bamboo we can recycle those instruments but still everything is coming on from china because it's cheap the guitar that they sell for 7000 they get a quote of 3500 it's completely white label they put their logo and sell it and it's now after that modi ji terms now they have changed to made in china to made in prc so that people people and there is no company and i'm i'm looking for like a startup or a aero manufacturer who can manufacture a guitar just for my brand i can buy that and i can sell but whenever i go to the negotiation process and detail about the manufacturing everything is coming from china i don't even want a guitar string or a pick or that wood or anything coming from it i want to come everything from our nation and build in a way that is everlasting not those there's a company called signature in calcutta which sells a guitar for about 15 1800 bucks which is a toy guitar if you want quality you have to spend 8 9000 that you do on yamaha yamaha is again japanese but if you spend 20000 you get fender that's us so yeah i am speaking to them oh wait a second yeah being... yamaha yamaha is japanese and ibanez ibanez is, is japanese as well yes right? ibanez is us is us okay ibanez is us yeah ibanez fender and gibson we gibson have gibson grayson yeah gibson grayson grusen grusen all in india <laughs> so i think we have to value ourselves more as indians we are not we are very good we are running their countries and we don't believe in ourselves yeah i i, I sometimes feel that's so, so bad and in the instrument space if you see any video of any indian artist is not playing an indian instrument that's not manufactured in india he's not learning because it's expensive i think there is a gap or there is a problem or there is a psychological glitch that has to be solved in a way that it brings value to people and secondly i also want to i also think and believe that you should not be capable enough to buy an instrument until unless you play every day mm-hmm. like there are things which money can buy but it it will never it will be at the end of a show piece like you get motivated this podcast you go to amazon you spend 8 grand you get a yamaha guitar you put it on <laughs> wall it's there that's wrong you you should company should not sell it why to give a wood why to give that craftsmanship to a person who just want to hang it on a wall yeah they should probably why? come up come up with a contest show me what you can play <laughs> and then okay now you I can think, order <laughs> I, i think the future is even more ahead like you don't do that you do, you sell it is in a subscription way and you make sure that whatever they play you put it on social media if any of those artists get popular you both get monetized you don't have to do anything you sell a 10000 guitar you sell it for subscription for 5 months and if the guy don't play you transfer that instrument to someone and give him a penalty for 20000 bucks <laughs> you know put him put him bad things on him got it bro this is not out in that and try to solve his problem why he is not able to do it if you are spending that money Uh, because if you are buying a guitar like i i, I taught guitar for 6 years so a lot of kids used to come to me that they want to buy an instrument the parents come to me i said use my guitar take it a week's time you want to take it home you take it home it's okay but if you learn it then only you buy it but they they don't see that they see if i buy it then only i learn it that's not how it works and i think this has to stop in music because why to buy instruments which you don't play at least give that instrument to some free kids who are poor who knows how to play you know you can't it's not a car it's not a house 
it's not books it's something which which people really see as just for an entertainment but to highlight it music was invented to praise god that's how music invented earlier music was never entertain made never meant to create a uh, entertainment it was always meant a source to praise god that's why in old times we used to hear that people used to do those rag and everything and it should, it, it it was about to rain they can bring rain through sound yeah. like a very famous song hallelujah means praise god with music and you can see the god is around us it's it's it's, it's energies and we just playing and streaming our thoughts not talking about that sort of sex and all those those songs th- these days kids are creating you know and having a a very irrelevant kind of a structure and a and a notion to that song we should think more about it like why don't we kids create songs on tables there is no songs on 13th table and 13th table is something that i've struggled in my time i i i know till 10 but 11 till 13 is something I, i i always blow my mind so if i can get a one minute song on 13th table why not like one song on the periodic table one song on on just adding those very difficult words of shakespeare the shakespeare only understand so you can you can you can you can add those things in music we 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 barrier ourselves and when you see the real application of music every marriage is a music and those same songs repeat it again and again every company a good company has a jingle every cafe where you go there is a music every time you in your radio listen to music why can't we just innovate and think of beyond the feelings of love those emotions and go beyond that the the limitation if you think in that perspective the structure of those sounds can be anything those basic chords so if just to add on if you know 10 chords to play on guitar you can play almost 90% of indian music and 60 70% of western music 60 oh. 70% just 10 chords just 10 chords and a capo of 165 bugs which helps you to change this thing so these things you know really trouble me a lot like when i see young artists performing like those 18 19 20 years old they they come drunk on stage they're high they're playing and and when they play they do the same thing again and again like you saying this you playing the same chord you playing the same song you are trying to have the same vocal melody are you an ai and somewhere down the line the audience is also responsible because when i play to public public say ah, hey, boss yeah. i'm not an ai i hear you yeah i am not an ai i take my phone i say this is the 30 song i'm prepared for i can play one song 20 times for you i don't have a problem but i'll not play the 31 song cuz i'm not prepared and i'm not comfortable with it even if i want to i i'll not do it because we have to really educate people like boss just to come here and sing for you took me 10 years and you're mm-hmm. asking you demeaning me yaar ye bhi baja de are bhai what is this is not how you talk to people yeah i'm so glad you brought this up i think you do have a point it's as if people expect the artists to play the songs that they like instead of letting the artists express themselves because artist himself does that yeah. because what happens is when i'm playing i know anyone is not listening to me i said you want to listen to any song that's how it start that's how it always start but now and everything goes downhill from there actually <laughs> yeah then now what i now i've understood if people are not listening close your eyes try to sing better try to do justice with your song your performance add some humor have some an automation to that song what automation is like reducing the tempo increasing the tempo mm. doing some crazy things on the stage changing the lyrics of the song not singing the verse chorus verse chorus do something different with that add a medley to it make some in a way that it surprises them because you you have to grasp their attention and there is also one funny thing that happens when you do that uh, people come with their phone they come on stage with you they put a selfie on it and then they put you on a background like it it happens so many times with me that the, the people are drunk and playing on a stage they come to me and i like this and then he's saying bro this kind of baza do like i'll not play bro i'll i'll join my hands and not play bro uh, so that's what people does and then when you are playing apart from listening to you what they do is they put your phone on 
and when they're putting their phone on, they they can't just stop talking. If you are recording some live music, you know that your phone is near to you. If you say something, it will be more louder than the guy who's singing. <laughs> and then they post it online, and just highlighting their face, their body, their glamour, and all. I don't know why they do it. I really don't know why they do it, but they do it, and they do it very religiously all the time. Yeah, maybe as with quite a lot of things, they they do feel entitled. It's probably a mystery that. <laughs> neither of us can actually resolve but uh, it is what it is now but it's fun <laughs> it's it fun. is fun yes uh, now that we we've, we've been talking about music for uh, this long it's very important to ask you one key question who is or who are your favorite artists that's a good question so i i really love coldplay and they are like the way their songs are the feel of the song is something that i really love about coldplay and if you ask me one song which is really my favorite and i can listen to n number of times is zephyrata from a band called them clowns it's a delhi based oh, yeah, yeah. band yeah yeah absolutely and see i get goosebumps all the time with that song because that song is aesthetically so structured the way i feel you Mm-hmm. and the irony is i can't sing and play that song if there is a song which is something i admire i study that song for years i listen to that song again and again to find something unique in that there is there are places and spaces in that song which teach you something different all the time and zephyrida is one of them it's yeah. if you meet any of my friends who have sitten into my car it's a national anthem for my car <laughs> if you're going for a long drive you will listen zephyrida seven eight times it's clear I- I like their uh, my life much more than Zephyrita. Yeah. Probably I can relate to my life more. And yeah, them clowns. It's actually pretty underrated. Talk about it and un- <laughs> being underrated. Almost many. I mean, almost all of India-based rock bands are underrated. No one knows about it. Uh, no one like, no, knows knows about it except no, no, no. Uh, maybe a handful. Uh, how many? I'm pretty sure that 99% of the listeners. will not be knowing about them clones or any of the other delhi or ncr based rock, rock bands there are like so many talented bands out there and it's not a thing that's happening right now it's always been the thing i mean for the past 20 22 years it's been happening and without a doubt india kerala for example has at least half a dozen very good bands they are like so damn good i'm pretty sure i'm just surprised that why haven't they gotten the international exposure that Uh, they truly deserve not just them but many of the rock bands in india they truly are international class acts but unfortunately they haven't got this opportunity why all the money is going to what cricket ipl it's stupid all the it, money it, 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 it is stupid is it is stupid uh, listen sports um, i do appreciate sports uh, i'm a sports person myself uh, i've played cricket I love that game. I get it. There's a lot of financial backing by your sponsorships and what not. But you can't concentrate your entire financial throughput into this one thing. You have to go and go beyond sports. You definitely have to go beyond a particular sport. What about musicians? I would say musicians. I mean poor musicians, they actually survive on their own talent. if they stop playing they are actually are looking for their own jobs either they become a music teacher or they become a music teacher which is which is in the great uh, way to make a living honestly they are sacrificing or literally sabotaging their talent their god given gift to do something which i don't know i feel very bad about it i feel very bad about the fact that many of the musicians they are not they are not getting the international exposure that they clearly truly deserve they are not getting the sponsorship or the backing things may may not change thanks to spotify and many of the music providers opening up their services to these independent artists but i don't know that thing was still out there many years back like back in the early 2000s i know mp3.com was like open to all the artists but how many of them survived i don't know not many there certainly weren't many takers to putting their own putting or recording their own music and publishing it online because creating your own art is hard work it's not something that you can come up with every day and i find it very irritating when 
people, artists especially, push themselves to their limits, take out six months of their lives to come out with an album, only to have this one stupid fan ask them, okay, when is the next album coming up? <laughs> they invested their six months to put this out, okay? So I feel that we are very insensitive to what an artist go through. Uh, in their day to day. Okay. It's easy for us to judge. It's easy for us to just click play on whatever is streaming through Spotify or Apple music, or it's easy for us to just tell the live band to play a particular music that you enjoy just because you think he or she is a DJ. It's insane. Anyway, but that's neither here or there. Uh, I just wanted to share this because it's been in the uh, back of our mind for uh, quite a long time. The artists, especially the musicians, they deserve so much more. But yeah, back to your favorite art artist. So them clones, Coldplay, obviously you, there's a specific, what was the song title again? Uh, by them clones. And yes. what else? It's and I, it's from Iceland. So I don't even understand what they sing, but oh. I really love their music. There is one song called Auslin. I love Damien Rice, the way he sings, the way his voice is. It's really, it's really heart touching. And I also love a lot of Indian artists. His music is different. I really like that, that kind of a vibe. There is something, there's a guy called Ang Kurtiwari. He has a, he's got a couple of songs, Dil Be Parva, sang with. So my, my, like, it's not something that I follow one or guy. It's like, I listen to almost anything and everything, whichever I can. I listen classical, I listen jazz, I listen blues, I listen rock. Now I don't listen metal. I think metal is not my cup of tea. Yeah. I, it's not something I, I really, you know, I don't like EDM music at all. I don't like trance. I don't like electronic music. I don't listen to it at all. Anything which is raw, anything which is with less editing, with a lot of more natural elements to it, Indian music really inspires me a lot. So if I'm following an artist, I, I really make sure that whatever they are doing is something that I can do it live or they have done it live. It's not processed. It's not like engineered music. There is one artist, if you really want to see, learn more about the technicalities of music, uh, there's an artist called Steven Wilson. So if you if you listen to his songs, the way he structured those songs, the chord combination, the flow and everything is mind blowing. Like he, he really blows my mind when I listen to his chords and I see this chord structure. So we have something called as family chords in music, which is like five, six chords in the same family. And what he does he you know, all the time in his music is he takes three, four family chords, different scales and he blends them together. And I don't know how he do it. But it's, it's really great to see people coming up and innovating on not just the, the vocal line, but also the musical and the structural aspect of it. Like I really admire Hope Studio Pakistan and I want to focus on Pakistan because of the raw feel that they, they got. Mm -hmm. Like there's one song called by Omer Jaiswal. So if you listen to that song, it's a seven, eight minute song. And <clears throat> there is no line repeated in that song. So it's like a story. It starts with something, it goes with something, then there is a big kind of an instrumental loop, the way the music is structured. So that really opens the way that we, we see music. Like in India, I love Tapon. I really love the way he sings, the way he structures his music. Agni is there. Mohan does a couple of beautiful songs together. I am not a great fan of Bollywood music, but there are a few Bollywood numbers which are really aesthetically very good. Yeah, you know, I and agree. then aesthetically, it means they've done really just like Shreya Gushal is one of an idol. I really admire when whenever she, she's there, she sings. Arman Malik is, is an artist who sang Be Sabriya, Bol Do Zara. His music is new. His music is vibrant. Then there's another artist coming up. That's Mishra who sang Kaise Hua from the movie Kabir Singh. And when I listen to these people and if it's new, it's raw. I like listening and the loop back again and again, again and again to understand and explore how and why they're different because they did something amazing that that really catches my attention if my ears are there there is some reason i just want to hunt more listen to that song study that song and when i meant by study that song is there is a difference between listening and hearing so 90 percent people hear music but when they listen it their life changes and when i want my listening is when it starts what the beat what's the tempo and what's the journey? Why it's happening? What do you feel? If you feel a patriotic song, like from a movie called Chuck Day, you feel love for your country. If you listen to me or any romantic songs, you feel love for your partner. You try to relate yourself at that same position and 
have that kind of perception that's happening in your life that's what music does and i sometimes feel very challenging that our youth don't even see that feeling they hear it they like dik 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 and the beats are on the words are rambling up there are 10 20 different acronyms which change up as the trend and this artist is on and on and on and on and so i think that's something that i really want to focus if anyone is listening to this podcast that if you listen to music don't hear it listen and study it and don't study it in a way that you have to give in an exam study is what do you feel about it and why have you ever thought if you listen to a romantic song why you think about your wife why if you are a we do that guys does that in their head if they have a long list of relationship history so but they relate to it i think we we really need to see the emotions that coming up value those emotions and live those emotions Mm. you know we value it but we don't live it because we don't accept it these are i know i don't feel it i love all those things try to reiterate ourselves as an individual which society wants apart from reiterating our thoughts to the one that the way we are it's if you are like this there is a reason and if you don't accept the way you are no one else will do it for you truly said before we wrap up i'm pretty sure many of the folks especially working professional uh you ask any working professional about music they'll probably dish out a list of all of their favorite bands and they probably would love to play an instrument however they don't know and it's probably one of the things that they've been at it for the past several years but for some reason they still have not been able to make the time to learn an instrument would you have a piece of advice for them for this specific audience for them to pick up their preferred music instruments and find the passion for music again so i think these are two questions so the first is if you have an instrument at your home and you are a working professional you want to learn it but you can't do it i think the best advice that i would say is play every day and if it's like a guitar you don't know how to play it just hold that guitar and play those open strings i'm not asking you to be slash or beatles on day one you will not come on television <laughs> it will take time and if you do that small thing for 2 to 3 minutes like just hold your guitar just learn the basics how to tune it on online there are apps and just play those open strings for 5 minutes and keep it there don't go with a lot of songs so when you do that regularly what happens is you connect yourself with that instrument and that is where the magic comes in if there is a song which is a very simple song and it's based on just two notes i'm forgetting the name of the song and there are just two notes in that song so if you put just one finger here one finger here put a cello tape also and you just pluck your guitar like this the song is there it's chasing cars from snow petrol chasing cars yeah if you have if you have heard the song i'm thinking so that 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 is just two notes and what he did was when there is a video online when he's explaining that i when i did it i thought it's complete i don't want to add anything and he didn't did anything in the song just that so music is like what we just give our limitations to ourselves and the the biggest challenge with people see when they've seen instrument is they want to play as an artist don't do that bro express yourself like do one thing today just play open string on the second day you've decided i'll just put my one finger at one point and then do it so you have to make your body your mind that rhythm which is flowing in your mind with that instrument so that connection that love that marriage happens when you spend time with it if you don't spend time with it you will never have that kind of a successful relationship and just be like a one that you connect with the instrument so i think that's an advice if you have drums if you have keyboard if you have a keyboard at your place nothing like it just play the white keys forget those black keys if you just play the five keys on a count like 1 2 3 4 like 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 you will find yourself as ar rahman the second moment because that's the same scale like it's the c major scale if you play all the white scale c d e f g h i j k it's like a c major scale so whatever you play will match even if you want to have more fun by just playing those white keys there are backing tracks on youtube go c major backing track for piano enter and then uh, and then just start playing it just follow that count just follow your vibe don't don't learn yourself to become the best artist in the world express yourself 
the quality will automatically come so that's one number two if you want to learn music and you don't know which instrument that you should learn you should follow uh, you should have like kind of three thoughts in your mind to decide an instrument the first is are you a person with more vocals do you like classical and that kind of a feel when you listen to the music the second is are you a person who enjoys the rhythm of that song or are you a person who just focus on the beats of the song so through through these three basic ideas of your love if you love melody then learn a keyboard you can buy a midi keyboard or a normal keyboard online the midi keyboard works more better because it's compact it gives you an ability to com- connect with your computer and then you can have any sound that you want to do uh, there is an akai mk2 which starts from 9000 i have it my home and it's very easy to use it also has beats part if you want to learn you have to love rhythm i would say if you don't want to learn guitar learn ukulele it's a very easy instrument it's just for four strings all are nylon and if you just learn four or five chords you'll be able to play 10 20 hindi songs for yourself and even if you don't want to play ukulele you can just play and like just if you just pluck those strings also that gives a very good sound and if you are a guy who loves beat i would say focus more on drums but don't buy a drum kit initially just spend 300 bucks there is a kind of a drum standing pad and buy good sticks for 7 800 bucks because the sticks will give you that feel and nothing just do 1 2 3 4 when you are stressed with office 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1, 2, 3, 4 just do those basic things when you start building and connecting your life to it na you will learn music by yourself the, the biggest irony in music is that you will also find it irony that no one can teach you mm. you have to learn you it, feel yeah. it yourself yeah yeah i taught it for 7 years i i published my book on guitar I, I did music workshops. I still teach people, and I say, like, I can't teach you, bro. I can't, you know, unless you don't understand how it is, how would I teach you? I can tell you that, like, A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus two AB, a basic maths formula. But in music, I can't tell you. I can tell you this is G, this is C, this is D. Now it's up to you how you play that chord, how you strum that note, how you add that melody. It's completely up to you. There is no rule there. Mm-hmm. there is no rule there and that really surprises me that if i see any there are few of my students which i i am proudly to say that they are 5000 better what i do on guitar and because they persistently practice for 10 years they know they want to learn metal they know their genre they know what are the songs that they love so they have that kind of a high taste for music and they love their niche and they're doing extraordinary well but it does not mean that a guy who plays hindi song is bad there is also a, a society demarcation that okay you play english songs you play hindi songs if you see my hands if you play english songs you play in good clubs good cafes but if you play hindi songs then it's not like that at all it's just stupid way of comparing thoughts containing things on do it that's it there's nothing like it so i think these are the two things that i really want to focus that you can add music to your life by just playing any table any sound but in a rhythm it has to be in a count that's what all matters everything is in a count in a rhythm if it goes in a rhythm whatever you do is music cool thanks so much for your time pranshu really appreciate it we went through this was a <laughs> this was like jam packed with information right lots of ideas and your idea certainly sparked some of the ideas in my head as well and i'm pretty sure i might have missed out on a certain key components which i thought okay i should be asking this or i should be probably following up on this uh, bit but yeah we can certainly do a round two next time but okay. thanks so much for sharing your genuine thoughts on one your journey what you're trying to achieve and also the state of the music industry how it is for the artists and uh, also your uh, tips for uh, working professionals who would like to pick up a music instrument now i'll be honest i picked up I thought you of learning a guitar I know Well I had yeah, two guitars an oh electric <laughs> one an electric one and an acoustic one I had to give it away I uh, donated my electric one to a church and the acoustic one I gave it away to my friend Unfortunately I didn't learn anything except yes I did learn twinkle twinkle little star but that doesn't really count yeah That is the value If you have learned Twink the Little Star, Happy Birthday, and Johnny, yes, Papa, you would have three names. <laughs> <laughs> It counts. Everything counts. What you do, it's an effort. You should appreciate that.
Yeah, it, it might be something that I would like to pick up soon, but I don't know when, but it, it certainly is something that most people, especially who are already working, who are like super stressed out because of work, but would like to pick up something, especially a music instrument. So yeah, those were like super solid insights. So thanks so much for that. We should certainly catch up again sometime in the future. And yeah, that'll be all. Any parting thoughts? Thank you. I would just say follow your passion. <laughs> you have just one life to live and uh, inspire people to do what they love. Super. All right. Follow your passion. Thanks.